Hi, my name is Sarmad, and I'm very excited to introduce Gradio Notebooks to you today. Gradio Notebooks is a custom Gradio component that provides an out-of-the-box notebook interface for generative AI. Here you can see we have a couple of cells. Uh, these cells are particular to a different Hugging Face tasks. We already support eight of them out of the box. You can select any model from the model gallery in Hugging Face that supports the inference endpoint, or you can download one locally for your space. But to set this up, I only needed to write these eight lines of code. Uh, and that's made possible by this Gradio Notebook component, uh, as well as this config called AI config that stores the state of your, your Hugging Face space. And so to get started, all you have to do is duplicate the space. And when your space is ready, you can just start modifying the, the notebook in the UI. Today's Valentine's Day, and let's use a generative AI to make it a little bit more special. Um, and so let's try asking Mistral about a couple of things to do in New York City on Valentine's Day add a few more for that. So let's try adding another image here and try to caption that image. Here we have a Hugging Face Valentine uh, image. And so let's try captioning this. The default model for this task, for the image to test ta the image to text task doesn't do super well on this. So we can switch the model to a different one. And this does a much better job. We do want to do an animated illustration of, of the things we want to do on Valentine's Day. So let's rerun this prompt and see what it produces. And in this case, it is running Stable Diffusion XL. And that's quite sweet. Look at the hearts on the trees. It's uh, well themed to Valentine's Day. What you'll notice is I pipe the output of the text gen prompt from here. So this output was taken as an input into this image gen prompt. And so there's now this very powerful way of passing data between cells uh, in order to create these mini AI workflows within a Hugging Face space. So when I'm happy with the state of my uh, config, I can just save this config file. And, and once I have this config, I can just go into my space. And so now all I have to do to make this work with my space is edit this and refer to this new AI config. Now it's ready. And so now if I share this space with someone else and I open this, I'll see that it contains all my config here. So I could change this to Chicago, for example, regenerate this. And I can regenerate this image here too. And as a space user, what I want to do is share the output of this. This actually does look like Chicago, which is very cool. And so now maybe I want to share this with my friends. I can get a shareable URL. I copy this and I, if I open this, I'll see that this is now pointing to the changes I made as a space user. There's a lot more you can do with this. There are docs that you'll see here. I'll add a quick, uh, um, we're looking for feedback on how to improve the experience from here and where to take it. This is in beta. Happy building.